friends welcome to my channel cooking made easy uh, today I'm going to show you a dish which is a very very favorite dish of mine actually um, I'm showing a dish which is made up of prawn prawn is my all-time favorite um, so today I'm going to make a dish which is a continental dish but which I have uh, turned to uh, give a um, Indian tinge to it some masalas I have added, added actually and the process is also a little bit Indianized uh, so the name of the um, original recipe is um, tomato garlic fish so which I have made some amendments I have tried it with prawn not with uh, other general fish actually but you can do it with uh, rohu katla or any other fish also a big fish also you can do it uh, preferably boneless piece with betki also you can try it uh, so um, today the name of the dish is lemon butter prawn spicy <laughs> spicy edition of it so um, as it is in my uh, recipes they are very simple very easy to make very fast to cook uh, so let's go to the ingredients directly friends very little ingredients i have taken 250 grams of prawn uh, properly washed uh, medium sized uh, tiger prawns i have taken and apart from that what I require is salt according to your taste and since it is a garlic prawn so I have taken a lots 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 of garlic uh, not that finely chopped and some green chilies um, that too roughly chopped this the amount of this you can amend according to your wish and I have taken one teaspoonful of black pepper powder and one tomato I have crushed in my mixie you can use tomato puree also and I have taken uh, this amul butter I will be using uh, a little bit of it from and uh, cilantro I have taken handful of cilantro you can substitute it with parsley also I'll say a little bit about the prawns this prawns I have washed nicely no marination but I have de-shelled them and de-veined very nicely you have to de-vein this very nicely properly and very clearly it, the prawn should be very clean actually now let's go directly to the process I will be taking a heavy bottom non-stick pan and to this I will be adding the um, butter uh, I will be taking um, 25 grams of butter is enough one fourth of um, a butter slab and to this I will be directly adding the garlics no need to melt the butter or wait till the butter melts And after frying it for a minute or two, I will be adding the green chilies. It gives out a lovely aroma when garlic is fried in the butter. Butter will be melting on its own and the garlic will be fried accordingly. Uh, it took me, yes, around um, one and a half minutes. The garlic started changing its color. Now I will be adding the green chilies. The proportion of green chilies is entirely on your choice. How much ever you feel like having, you can have it. I will fry both of these for another minute. After a minute, I will first add to it the salt. But about the salt, one thing you have to remember friends, that butter is already containing some salt. So about the salt, uh, be a bit cautious. It's better to check your seasoning later on and then if you need to add you can add but um, initially let it be moderate now I will be putting the tomato puree or the tomato paste to it and to this I will be giving a good mix when everything is mixed properly I will be adding the prawns as I said friends I have taken 250 grams of medium sized tiger prawn you can use a prawn of your own choice but one thing you have to be very careful about de-veining and de-shelling the prawns a thorough mix to everything now and after mixing it for a minute I will be just covering it properly when everything is incorporated it looks very homogeneous then I will be giving a cover and after covering this I will be waiting for two minutes now my two minutes is over and see the consistency yes this is exactly what the consistency I want the flame should have been high throughout this is exactly the consistency I want. You have to check friends that how much time you take to have this consistency. To this I will be adding the black pepper powder and 
this handful of cilantro that I have you can substitute it, this with parsley also as I said but now friends I will be adding something which I didn't show you in the ingredients and actually this is I am incorporating for the first time I'm adding these for the first time the dish when I'm making I never used to add this but I had some a capsicum cut capsicums with me few pieces of capsicum that I will be adding to it and I feel it will be giving a good body and color to the dish uh, I'm adding this capsicum and one more thing I have friends that is a surprise this is also for the first time I'm adding to this dish this is few drops of honey I will be adding this few drops of honey and then I'll let you know how exactly uh, it tastes because this I am also using for the first time so let's see how it turns out to be and it looks very nice of course and uh, I will be leaving this covered I will be giving a standing time to this for another minute or so yes it's ready ready to serve and I've already served yes this capsicum gave a very lovely color to the dish as I said and it gave a little bit of body also to the dish it's looking wonderful and um, yes friends I have tasted it it's beautiful it's really good the honey the taste of honey really is adding to the dish do try friends I'm sure friends you will be liking it and just give it a try and um, I need some feedbacks actually from you all when you are cooking it some of them are giving and um, one more request those who are new to my channel uh, please subscribe my channel and those who have already subscribed I'm really grateful to them thanks 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 a lot of thanks so friends thank you all for watching my video be happy be merry